tutorial four, part four, poison threshold, fatality, toughness, and resilience. Poison threshold raises the swing value in the transverse direction with the swing value in the axial direction, which is only valid in the elastic deformation. See the picture below. For applied force in the set direction, which is the axial direction, for this part, this elongated part, it is equal to L. L is the original axial direction length times the string value, which will be equal to elongation. At this part, this red part, red portion, it is the elongation along the axial direction, not not axial, transverse direction. It can be in x coordinate or in y coordinate, and it is equal to the x direction original length times the x direction strain under the force, under the loading, or y in terms of y. And there is a relationship between E, G, and V. E is the elastic modulus is equal to 2 times G. G is the shear modulus times 1 plus V square, uh, not, not square, bracket. If our string too far with original length equal to 1 meter, original length radius equal to 5 cm, deformed elasticity to length equal to 1.2 meter, we have portion ratio equal to 2.3. What is its new radius? Assume A cell loaded. Using the definition for Poisson's ratio, we first identify what is the A cell direction and what is the transverse direction, or what is the A cell length and what is the transverse length. The original XL length is equal to 1 meter according to this one, assume XL loaded. And the new length is 1.2 meter, and that's why epsilon line set set, which is the string value at the set direction, which is at the XL load direction, is equal to this value, 1.2 minus 1 over 1, which is dimensional less. And that's why. We can we don't need to actually we don't need to convert the length value. For the top one, we can define it as which is the transverse transverse direction and which is the radius. It's equal to the new radius minus five. Five is the original radius over five. And just we already term we get the R is equal to this value. And the unit for R is CM because we use CM in the this term here. To be reminded that string is actually dimensional less because it is equal to length over length and the uh, units just cancel each other. Fatality. Fatality is the ability of material to deform without breaking under tensile stress and we have two methods to measure it or two values to measure it. The first one is the elongation to failure percentage EL. Percentage EL means that the length, the final length at failure minus the original length over the over, over the original length times 100%. And basically, normally, if the percentage elongation is more than 5%, we consider it as a brittle material. Otherwise, we consider it as a ductile material. Area reduction. It is comparable to elongation to failure. And it is also measured at a failure point. Percentage IAL is equal to AO, which is the original area, cross-sectional area, minus the area at failure point, which is a reduced area at the failure. If you still remember the necking phenomena at the later stages of uh, for a bar under unit SL tensile test. Over AO, AO is the original cross sectional area times 100%. And these two numbers, EL and AL, are comparable with each other. Toughness. Toughness is the energy per volume for a material to be deformed and fractured. Toughness is defined as the integral from the string at failure over to zero, 
the stress value d string which is also the area under the stress string curve toughness can be approximated by u strength plus the ultimate tensile strength over 2 times the strength to failure which is at the for this graph which is here is the elongation not elongation the string value at failure therefore materials have a large elastic modulus material does not necessarily mean that the material has a tight toughness for example gases gases is a ceramic it has a very large elastic modulus because it is very very hard to deform without breaking but once it deforms it breaks and that means it will not have a very high toughness and here's the picture demonstrate the reason why yes large elastic modulus does not necessarily mean that the material has a high toughness yeah. resilience is similar to toughness and it is the story of the elastic energy upon loading or the resilient energy upon unloading and it is basically the you can you can say that it is like likely the toughness value but it is only confined in the elastic region and modulus of resilience is the mass elastic energy that can be observed absorbed u is equal to equal to the integral from of the stress value d string from the string value at the u string at the u stress value which is shown in curve here shown in the graph here to zero which is the origin and it is also equal to the area here and it can be also approximated by you by a following equation 2.5 times u string u stress value times the string at the u stress value which is shown here which is and this value is basically a triangle using a triangle 